Have you heard about Amazon Go? It's an Amazon store where you can walk in, take whatever items you want off the shelves, and then just walk out. There's no cash registers, there's no cashiers. It's the store of the future, and now they exist in New York City, and you and I are gonna go. Okay, we're here at the Brookfield Place location that is in downtown Manhattan. This is honestly my first time here. I know how it works because I watch a bunch of YouTube videos about this, and I've also been looking forward to shopping here since I saw the original promotional video. I think it was 2016. So what you have to do is download the Amazon Go app, which I've already done. You sign into your Amazon account, and then there's a QR code that you scan right here, and then it knows it's you, and then you just shop freely and walk out. QR code on the phone. I'm going to scan, and now I'm in. So I think you can tell from this video, the store is way smaller than I thought. There's really only two aisles and there seems to be an emphasis on fresh food here there's a sign that says you can get real bagels there's a microwave and like a mini kitchen back here but let's walk through the store and see what they actually have here right up front and center are the bagels and there are some various pastries here there's also amazon go branded chocolate there's also some Amazon Go swag down there. Over here are the meal kits. So you buy one of these box, you bring it home, and I'm pretty sure they're all ready to eat. Salmon teriyaki, shrimp pad thai, chicken. There's some salads here. This is all food that you would just take right out of here and then toss in the microwave and just eat it. Across from all of these sort of meals, is seemingly a bunch of random items. There's like LaCroix and Red Bull next to bread, which is next to some peanut butter, some lemonade, and then like bathroom things like toothpaste and floss. So I, I get the feeling that because the store is so small, everything in here is deliberately chosen and probably deliberately placed too. Now we're toward the end of aisle one, a lot of protein bars, some mixed nuts, some beef jerky. You can see behind me, there's assorted yogurt, some parfaits, and then a surprisingly good variety of refrigerated drinks. Along the back of both aisles here, coffee and tea. And then in the other aisle, again, is a lot of sort of fresh, prepared, ready to go meals, right? I could just grab this sandwich, walk out and go eat it. No preparation necessary. What the store isn't, this location in particular, is let's say a Whole Foods where you would go and get a cart and walk around and shop for 20, 30 minutes. I've been in here for like five minutes and so many people have came in, grabbed one or two things and walk out. That's where the sort of magic of the store is. Across from the entire aisle of the grab and go stuff are snacks, more snacks like chips and more chips. And then arguably the most important aisle, the candy aisle, decent selection. But again, the store is small, so you're not gonna get, you know, a candy shop's worth of items here. So that's just like a quick walk around the store. As I'm making this video, I'm trying to decide what I wanna just grab off the shelf and walk out with here. But a bunch of things come to mind now that I'm like standing in the store and I'm here. Okay, number one, are there employees in the store, right? Because it's cashierless, cash registerless. Yes, there are. They're right over there. They've been greeting people. They kind of help you get set up. If you have any questions, they're right at the front of the store. And then there's a, a few employees walking around, maybe restocking things. Second question would be probably an obvious one. How does this work? Well, Amazon calls it just walk out technology. Up in the ceiling are I can't even count how many there are, dozens and dozens of, it seems like there are cameras and sensors everywhere. So Amazon probably is watching every move I make in the store. They see what items I'm grabbing and they also know who I am based on me scanning my app to get into the store. Another question is, does the app update in real time? And I just talked to one of the employees here and she said, no, the app does not update in real time. So anything I grab off the shelf, I won't really see my receipt or what items I have until I leave the store and I'm finished shopping. Another probably obvious question is, can you steal from the store? Well, if you scan your app, they know what items you're taking off the shelf. And I'm not gonna just try and grab a whole bunch of things. I think the answer is probably no. There are just so many sensors in the ceiling. And then I guess my final question would be, how is the pricing in here? Is it comparable to a CVS or Walgreens? Is it comparable to shopping on Amazon? Is it comparable to shopping at a bodega in Manhattan? Well, just looking around right here, a LaCroix is a dollar, which honestly seems pretty cheap. A bag of Lay's chips, $1.89, seems pretty reasonable also. Spicy tuna avocado roll, 
$10.69, which for Manhattan, also pretty comparable. Salads seem like they're eight, nine, ten dollars Again, we're in Manhattan, so that's what you're gonna be paying. And again, as far as the inventory of the store goes, I mentioned, yes, it's small. You're not gonna be able to walk in here and get ingredients to cook a meal. It's mostly grab and go, ready to eat, and snacks and drinks. Now it's time to shop, right? I came all the way here, talked through this whole thing. I wanna grab some stuff, right? So they do have shopping bags here, which is nice. There are no shopping carts, as you can see. So I'm going to grab one of these fruit bars for $1.60, put it in the bag. If you know me at all, you know how I feel about chocolate milk, so I'm gonna grab one of these. And then I'm gonna grab two of these Cokes for my two brothers and then Candy. Those Sour Patch Kids are huge. I don't need that much Sour Patch Kids. I'm gonna grab a Justin's Peanut Butter Cups. So I've got all my items in the bag and I just walk out, that's it. If I had to rate my first shopping experience at an Amazon Go store, I would give it a solid five out of five. It's really meant for, you know, if you work in the area and you wanna go grab a quick snack or quick drink or even a quick meal that's already made, you just literally walk inside, grab it, and go. So for that, yeah, this place is great. Based on how seamless this was, it wouldn't surprise me if in the future, Amazon, who owns Whole Foods, changes all of their Whole Foods locations to Whole Foods Go. I'll say this, if there was an Amazon Go location closer to the studio, like across the street, I'd probably choose to shop at one of these locations just because of how easy and convenient it is to scan the app, walk in, grab your stuff, and just leave. Okay, back in the studio, I just wanna show you the receipt. So you get a notification, good to go. Your trip time was 42 minutes and 42 seconds. Your receipt is ready. So the app tells you and obviously knows how long you shopped for. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, it got it perfectly. The peanut butter cups, the two Cokes, the chocolate milk, and then the fruit bar. My subtotal was $10.98. Yeah, that was a great experience, Amazon. So that's it for this video. As you can see, I'm in the new studio. Studio tour is coming soon. So again, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.